June 11th, 2018. So we got a pink astilbe right there. It was raining all last night, by the way. Hardy geraniums are mounding up. Look at that. <laughs> got a nice pink spirea. Actually, there's two of them, but I'm going the other direction. There's a spider wart hiding in there. Leftover purple allium. Those green tall things are flocks. Some more mounding hardy geraniums. Spider wart. Now this is still be is just about on the brink of opening up. Like see how little fluffy white he is. The red behind him, or the pink rather, hasn't opened yet. It's almost there. Here's a red astilbe with some spider wart that's fallen all over it. So I've got to clean the spider wart out. I just clip them off to the bottom after they start falling on everything. Just some hostas hiding in here. It, they'll come out warm when I get the spider work clipped out. Just the line of hostas here on the sidewalk. Alright, back to this. More spider work. I asked a friend of mine if she wants some. She said yes. We just haven't dug them out yet. Look at this big monster. This thing at the top is as tall, I'm standing here, it's as tall as me. It really is. I'm looking straight on, straight line. So right at the top center, it's at least five foot five, at least, right there. And that is a yellow wax bell. He's been here, I'm thinking at least 15 years. Yep, okay. The um, mock orange shrub did bloom. It looks goofy. I have to probably prune the hell out of it. Okay. A little purple wigella back here. This hydrangea hasn't opened up yet, but as you see, all the buds are just about there. They're ready to open. And it is a lace cap. That hydrangea hasn't bloomed yet. It will. It's a droopy cone type thing and that hydrangea hasn't even budded yet this year okay now this hydrangea is the daughter of the first one and I need to uh, take it out and I think I finally figured out a place for it so that's why it's not it wasn't pruned last year because it was brand new and I was considering not stressing it too much. Some hostas here. Now this is the plumy astilbe. It's pink and see it like plumes over instead of going straight. And it still has a little more place to open up. Leftover mountain rue. Just a little bit of the there. This tall right there is a Canada lily which hasn't opened yet. And some big hostas here. And my goat's beard, which I am moving. <laughs> I keep threatening it. But he bloomed. So I just didn't want to move it while it's blooming. Another big hosta. These are lilies. That lily has to get out of there too. And more hardy geraniums. I try to give them away. I really do. Some uh, variegated forget-me-nots. And here's that second spirea. And I do clip them really down into a nice little ball where they grow, don't they? Back there is one of my favorite 
hydrangeas look at that thing isn't he beautiful now he will turn light pink then he'll turn a ruddy red in the fall the uh, the flower part so it is a um, a lace cap type and he won't get any taller than that like four foot and I gave it a tiny little trimming now if you notice the oak leaf behind him that is coming out and I think I found the spot for him also or a friend of mine's going to take him but he's coming out of there because I have two other oak leaves so I don't need another one so he's being dug out he doesn't need to be behind that one and then I have I also have a second um, wax belt which is right there and he's not as big as the other one but they were planted at the same time go figure um, if you're looking in the deep dark crevice there that's the that's a hydrangea that I've been shaping into a big bush taking like uh, limbs off and stuff like that but that's it it is just loaded as soon as I get these things out I want to get out it should be better hopefully Ugh. it's a matter of doing it <laughs>